Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here and I have my May How to Kill a Kit with Style and so I'm going to show you what I pulled. I actually kept it really easy on myself this month because I know it's going to be a busy month um, and so I just wanted to pull something that was already sort of put together so that's exactly what I did. Um, like I said in my Kill a Kit video for April, I did pull in these two page kits so I am going to have those in my kit. But everything else that's in this kit is actually just going to be, I'm pretty sure this was the April, yes, it's the April uh, hip kit. Um, I didn't even touch it. So I have the uh, main kit, the Project Life kit, and the embellishment kit. So I am going to just go through it really quick. I mean, if you want to see anything in detail, you can always check out the hip kit's website because basically that's... I didn't add anything to it. I figure if I add anything to it throughout the month, then I do. If I don't, I don't. Um, but like I said, I want it to keep it super simple. So I'm going to show you really quick the papers. And then I'll show you the embellishments that I have um, that go with it. And so this is what I chose to use. And so definitely springy. I have a feeling I will be creating, I know it's after Easter and people might not want to see Easter layouts, but I don't scrap chronologically, nor do I really care. I scrap what I feel like scrapping. <laughs> so uh, these sort of lend themselves to some Easter pictures. So I have a feeling that at least one project will make it Easter in here. Um, so there is this first one, which is absolutely stunning. And I I adore this paper, the colors of this paper and the florals on that stripe. I love it. And then there's this super beautiful sort of doily patterned blue. This is a hard choice. So there'll be some hard choices with these papers. And then I have this fun sort of floral paper. And then I have this gingham check on the back in pink and white. So again, that's another hard one. There might be lots of white pattern, white cardstock backgrounds, and that way I can use both sides of the pattern paper. Even though some of these have really great backgrounds, it's going to be really hard whether I do pattern paper back, back, backgrounds or white cardstock. This is a yellow and white floral, super sweet, sort of dainty kind of pattern. And then this sort of painted on watercolor stripe in the green and the pink and the blue and the yellow. So like you can tell, it's definitely a spring, soft Easter vibe. This whole kit kind of just makes me feel like spring, Easter, pastel colors. I love it. I love it a lot. I adore this paper too with the rainbows. And then this has all these words on it, like home sweet home. What a wonderful day, fun, fun, fun. Uh, this is cool. Can't resist this. So those would be really fun to cut out. I don't know if I hold it up, if you can kind of read a few of them yourself, but that is a really fun pattern as well. So maybe like cutting part of this off so I can have like a strip or two of the rainbows because I wouldn't use it as a whole. I wouldn't use either side as a whole, but definitely to use throughout, even to fussy cut some of these because they're actually separated enough you can fussy cut them. I have this sort of peachy pink white dot on this peachy pink background and then this diamond pattern with all those pastel colors. I like this, but I don't love it. I like this more, so I probably would use this. This is beautiful. It is a, I, it's not black. It's more, leans more toward blue, I want to say, if not like a gray blue color, but I love this floral. I could see painting these um, for a layout would be beautiful. And then this is just a gray um, chevron with like a stripe through it. So it's like a gray and white, which I don't even know if that even shows up on camera with my lights, but it is beautiful. It's very simple. This would make an awesome background, like really awesome. And then it also came with a sheet of all of these tags, and then it has this green background, but I'm probably going to use these tags because they are beautiful. 
and I really like that. And then I do love a good floral and this one as well has that dark blue background with these fun florals. And then see, this one is also beautiful and would make a beautiful background. It's actually a wood grain, but then it has a wreath of this very faint wreath, floral wreath that goes around the page. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but it is stunning. And this too would make an amazing background. Ugh, I have no idea what I'm going to use. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Then I have this light pink with the white polka dot. And then this side is, these are like tulips on a blue background. I don't love this. No, I like a floral, but this I'm not in love with. Uh, I'll definitely use that probably more than the other side. I always say that and then you watch. I'll be doing a layout and for some reason the blue floral will make more sense for the layout. It's just how it goes. But this is what I think I will use. This one here is sort of like a random pattern. It's got butterflies and flowers and rainbows. So really fun. Definitely good to use in like little chunks. And then the background, the back page is actually a perfect background. It has sort of like a diagonal stripe. Um, but these lines in it, it's really kind of a fun pattern. And it's like a gray blue color, I would say. And then all the branding strips are great on all the pattern papers. So that is the papers which I took entirely too long to go through. So I am going to speed it up. Here are the chipboard that came with this kit. I have no idea which kit, but again, you can check the website. Uh, there's probably even some left. Uh, I can't say for sure, but uh, these were in one of them. Could be embellishment or the main. It's hard to say. Uh, next, we have some chipboard frames. So again, you definitely see the theme of Easter, which is why I said I could see some Easter pictures. And then here are the... 12 by or 6 by 12 sticker sheets so even a birthday in there so lots of fun options there's even an alpha so that's great and then I also have two alphas I have a yellow alpha I love um, hip kits alphas that they've been doing their own alphas they are awesome this has upper and lower, which is sweet, loving that. And then here is a green alpha, which is smaller in size, but all cap. And then I have puffy stickers, which are adorable. I love them. I love the rainbows. I definitely need to do a rainbow layout, I think. And then I have, this is a whole pack of florals and then a few tags and labels. Another little set of puffy stickers. These ones are tiny, kind of like enamel dots. And then I have an ephemera pack. Here is everything in it. Lots of fun choices. I love it. These are really cute. They are fabric die cuts and they look like little pockets. They're so cute. They aren't actual pockets, like they don't have like little holes for like sticking stuff, but you could totally make it a pocket on your page. That would be super cute. And almost last but not least, I have these and these are also fabric. These are fabric words. So I don't have to think of titles for some layouts. Maybe, we'll see. Now these are the rolled flowers. I have such a hard time using these. I find they're a little too bulky for, for my layouts and I don't mind putting height in my layouts, but I, I find myself never using these, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I use those. Here's another thing that I have a hard time using. That is buttons. Really, really never use them, <laughs> but they're really pretty. I like looking at them. I just don't know if I'm going to use them. <laughs> so I have buttons. So We'll see if they get on a page. Um, and then these are all of the Project Life cards or Pocket Life. Uh, they are only one-sided, so I will quickly show you them. And then that's going to be it for this page. 
They are really pretty. Look at the cute bunny. So very special. Super cute. I like that floral card. This one here, totally die cutting that tag. And, or I should say fussy cutting that tag. And then this one here with making memories. I think that was just the one, yep. Lots of great journaling spaces for these, so, which is um, what I like about them is there's, you definitely can use them to journal, or I use them as embellishment bases sometimes, as well as behind photos. So lots of options. And then they also do some different sized ones. So these are more like book note, uh, traveler's notebook or bookmark type sized. Here's a couple more or one more in a floral. And then there's always a month card. And then these are these six or four by six. That one says seriously. And I say that all the time. This one is cute. You could put photos in there polka dots and then these one again travel traveler's notebook or bookmark type size so we have total bliss stripe and then another one that you could put photos in so that is it that is my kit for the month of may so i am going to have layouts on my channel this month i promise you that and so this will be what i'm going to try to get used uh, for the majority of them. I can't say it'll be all of them, uh, but for a good chunk of them, I hope to use this. So with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.